if you make this box called a job more expensive, which is what's happening, if you make it, if you jam it full of more benefits, if you jam it full of more workplace regulations, if you jam it full of labor-friendly and union-friendly policies, which make it dicier and dicier for me to hire people, guess what? In an era of automation, in an era of technology, in an era of easy collaboration with people in Sri Lanka, I'm gonna find a way to do that, and I'm gonna take the least risky path I can, which is not hiring people. If I go into the liquor store and there's a thousand choices on the shelves and the biggest, most expensive way that I can possibly obtain something, labor services, is this box called a full-time job and you've made it incredibly expensive and you've let me know that, that I as an employer am under your watch and under your guise, guess what? I'm not buying that box. I'll find another way, another package, a smaller package to get the labor services I need. So don't look for job creation to change. I'm hearing over and over again chief executives saying, I have found ways to do the same or more for my customer with the same number of employees, and I've got no plans to hire for next year. But you know, they always like Average Joes and Joannes, I think corporate bosses aren't that much different, that if you have something to look forward to or you're upbeat about something, you will be more inclined to expand your plant, equipment, hire folks. Uh, what they seem to be telling us, that 7 out of 10 of them who are refusing to do just that and have no plans to do just that, echoed by the likes of Adir and Caterpillar and, and, and Intel and others saying that they, they, they see these same headwinds, is that uh, there's very little reason for them to do that, even in the face of what anecdotally has been some better news of late on housing, on retail sales. Uh, not great news, but, but a trend the administration says is its friend. These guys seem to be saying, no, it isn't, and we're so convinced it isn't that we're not putting our capital to work, right? Well, think about it. You're describing you know, little tiny incremental improvements and you're weighing those against giant systemic risks. You have what's going on today in Spain and in Greece, the worst rioting yet over there, right? We, we're, we're in a situation now where we've increased our debt per household. Forget the giant trillions of dollars. In the, in the are you better off today than you were four years ago category, it's are you better off with 50% more debt on your household than there was four years ago. That, that's, that's this huge sort of factor, these Very giant kind of anti-animal spirits factors versus, hey, guess what, there was an uptick this month, or if you statistically correct the employment statistics, then private sector jobs are up a little bit. Well, <laughs> that's, away. that's the yeah. tail of the dog. All right, Dave, well put. Thank you very, very much.